amigos de Órbita Rock, estamos en Rock al Parque Fest 2015 y tenemos el día de hoy a Andy. Andy, nice to meet you. It is a pleasure to have you here in our country. Andy, I would like to ask you, um, how is this about the 10, 70,000 uh, 70, tons of metal? Let me, let me first of all thank you for having me here. It's a real, be, real pleasure to be in Colombia. Thank you very much. For us too. 70,000 tons of metal. The crazy idea of having 60 bands, 60 heavy metal bands, and 3,000 people on a cruise ship without any backstage, no VIP area. So it's just one big party without any boundaries. That is awesome. You have been taking some bands from Colombia since last year. That's right. Why? Well, I think there is some real, real good talent here in Colombia. This is also what, I mean, first of all, I wanted to pay tribute to the great following we have from Colombians on the boat, because, believe it or not, but Colombia is the most represented Latin American nation on board. Last year we had 70, 70, 70 different nations represented. That is awesome. And um, yeah, so I'm here also to check out new and old, mainly Colombian bands. Of course, there is some old friends that I know, like Behemoth and Melhesh and so. But um, mainly I came here to pay tribute to the people and maybe find some new talent for the ship. That is great. So you have that opportunity here in uh, Rock al Parque 2015. Uh, which bands have called your attention until this moment? Oh, there were several. I just I just came and watched a couple of songs from Revenge, and um, I'm always so bad with names, so I have to look it up. Okay. <laughs> um, I saw a band this morning, um, which was uh, Random Revenge. Okay. They, they, they were really good. Yeah. And um, I saw some other ones too, like uh, MS and The Unmask was also really good. So. I can very well imagine that we will have uh, more Colombian bands next year on board. Oh, that will be so great, so great. Thank you very much. Uh, I have another question. Uh, what do you look for about those bands? How can they apply for this project? What do you look for? Oh, for the bands? Yes. Well, principally, everybody is always can feel free to send us an email or send us a CD to the office. And I usually I have stacks like this of CDs, so it takes me some time to listen to them. But I do listen to them, and uh, it's one of the concepts of 70,000 tons. We are, we are having like all the bands are the same too. Of course, we have some big names, but we also have some unknown names, but which are good good talent, you know. So and actually presenting those bands with a stage. For a it's just 3,000 people, but it's 3,000 people from 70 different countries. And we also have a lot of uh, journalists always on board. We have, like last year, we had almost 130 journalists on board. So That is a great idea. Andy, can you tell us how can we contact you? The easiest way is always via the website. On the website, there is a contact form. So anybody that wants to get in contact with 70,000 tons of metal or with me, just go to the website, find contact us and write your message. Okay, Andy, can you give us a greeting for Orbital Rock, please? Hey, this is Andy Pillar, the skipper of 70,000 tons of metal, and you're watching Orbital Rock. <laughs> 